So today's plan, um, I wanted to get a lot of the engine bay cleaned up today as well as just do a couple maintenance things to the car, maybe fix a couple more things on the bodywork. The only spot that we had left to fix is right under here. It's actually, ooh, that's getting pretty bad. So we'll have to fix that up pretty soon. So I'm just waiting on Ryan to come home. I'm actually at his house before he even got here. I'm getting everything set up, ready for today's work. We also have another pair of LED headlights that we're going to be installing, hopefully on both of the cars. We do have two sets. One of them we got a couple weeks ago and it, the fitment of it just really wasn't working. So we're gonna see if we can try to make them fit. We also got another pair in from a company that's helping us with this video. And we're gonna try and hook both of those up today and hopefully get both of these on LED high beams. So today's high beams, the last couple videos were low beams. So have all LED headlights all the way around and it's gonna look so much better. Also, other big news, we'll be going down to Watkins Glen, which is a local racetrack around here. We're gonna be heading down there Labor Day weekend with Berg to film a Pirelli, I forgot what it is, but it's a Pirelli race or something like that. And it's a really big race that they're gonna be that they're gonna be sending us down with them for the entire weekend. We get pit passes, we get passes to go out on the track, we get passes to do filming anywhere and everywhere that we want to on that track. The track is pretty big. Uh, we've been there a couple times. We actually did a track theory there a long time ago, and unfortunately that was a day where it was like super cold and rainy. So maybe this time it'll actually be it'll actually be nice outside, and we'll get to enjoy ourselves. But we will be doing more filming with them. Hopefully, we'll just be keep working with them, building up new relationships. Also, I have all the parts that are ready to go on my car. You guys saw in the last video with the unboxing. I'm not sure if it comes out whichever way. We have all the parts that came in for that, and I've been talking to the tuner at Berg, and he's gonna be tuning the car. We are doing a street tune on the car. I was telling him how like the car has almost 200,000 miles. It's been stock its whole entire life, and has ran really great. Like I've never been left on the side of the road. And for the parts that we're gonna be putting on the car, he recommended definitely just getting a street tune if I'm looking for a tune that's just reliable. I'm not trying to like specifically see my dyno numbers or anything. I just want the car to run good, uh, have a little pep to its step. Once all the parts are on the car, we will be going out there getting it tuned from Berg. And that'll be a really cool video, so we'll take you guys with us on that. Get the car tuned, ready to go. Look who's here. He made it to his own house. How, did, how would you say Berg went yesterday? Berg went great. It was a um, fun day. Did you review any of the footage? Yeah, just yeah. a little bit. I feel like we got a lot of great shots. I'm feeling uh, really good about it. So what's uh, what's done with the what's car for the, the new car? people? What is done to it? This motor was pulled probably three or four months after I bought the car. It's a really fresh rebuild. Um, it should have rebuilt heads and a brand new OEM Subaru GJ205 short block. Uh, let's see what along with that I did a bigger oil pump um, the stock ones 10 millimeters this one's got 11 millimeter so everything that was on the car when I bought it downpipe uh, a Cobb downpipe catted bell mouth uh, some random cat back um, I've got a catless up pipe I've got a bigger turbo it's the STI one off of the 2017 so I think it's a VF48 is that correct that VF48 VF um, STI injectors, STI well, cold packs, and don't really matter because it's like just a cold pack, but they're off an STI. Um, if in case you're wondering about spark plugs, I'm running running the NGK iridiums. Got a turbo inlet by Perrin. I got a Cobb boost controller. You can see the little Cobb lines running all around here. I think that's it. So. Boost controller, turbo, injectors, oh, uh, Dishworks DW200 series fuel pump, uh, Cobb down pipe, cat back, and a rebuild motor. So here's the first set of high beam LED headlights that we kind of had issues with the fitment of the connector. If you look in there, there's two prongs. This is your normal connector. What it's supposed to connect to is right here. The problem is, when you're looking at this one, the prongs are a little bit too skinny for the width that the actual harness is. So we might either have to like bend these out a little bit to get them to fit, or we might just do a little bit of custom wiring. And same goes, and same goes with the second set. So we might have to do a little bit of custom wiring with that. Those are too wide. So we might just like put a little wire on them, connect it inside of the other connector, and then we are, should be good. 
I'm gonna jack up the car. I've been having a couple little noises going on, like squeaking wise, on this left side brake pad. So I'm just gonna check it, see how much life is left. Uh, you know, just random maintenance stuff. If you do not know, uh, my wheel setup right here is 18 by nine and a half with a plus 22 offset. So she sits out pretty wide from the car. Um, and the number one question I get about the wheel setup is, dude, what spacers are you running? Like they're super wide, blah, blah, blah. Like, and I'm just like, no, I don't, I don't have any spacers. And they're like, what, really? You don't have spacers? No, dude, no spacers. Just, just the wheel itself and how wide it is. Today's the day after the Berg Racing Dino Day, so thank you guys to the ones that came up and said what's up. There's nothing better than talking to you guys in person, really getting to know you one-on-one -on -one rather than just through comments and stuff. If you guys can, please leave comments on the end of all of our videos. It really gives us some good feedback on if we're doing a good job. It really gives us a better idea of what you guys want to see, as well as we just like talking to you guys, getting to know you even through the comment section. Alright, that is it for today's video guys. Thank you guys so much for watching. Uh, we did not get the LED lights done, as obviously you didn't see them in the video, so we still have to figure out how we're gonna make those fit and connect to our cars. So you will be seeing a video on that in the future when we're able to figure out what we need to do to get it to work with uh, our vehicles. We almost finished editing our Bird Racing Dino Day movie. Uh, a lot of those shots came out really well and it's looking really good, so we can't wait to share that with you guys. That will be coming out probably within the next week and we'll see it in the next one. Thank you guys so much for watching. Make sure to follow us on all the social media and uh, peace out and stay wicked.